conduct the meeting. All right. We have a couple of proclamations, and uh, so we'll get started with that. Our first one, if you're with the, uh, for the Citywide Blues Tuesday group, if you'll want to come down for that, and I'll be there for a minute. Then uh, Texas A&M Corpus Christi Homecoming. And I'm putting you on notice here, Council, the, uh, the boot's fixing to come up front, so start working in your pockets back there to get some of that money out, and uh, we'll see what we get. But uh, I'll be down, so uh, Citywide Blues Tuesday for the group that wants to do that. Doing the proc, right? Oh, okay, good to see you. Yeah, absolutely. The more the merrier. Tall people in the back. Tall people in the back. <laughs> you guys aren't kidding? You look like your Blues Day Tuesday people. <laughs> that blues. Here you go, sir. So Paulette's doing this, right? Yeah, she's helping with this. Oh, okay. All right. Well, you figured it out. This is a Texas A&M Corpus Christi. Boy, they're a pretty good-looking bunch, huh? Yeah, we got the incognito there, guy. That's the mystery, the mystery person. Uh, Paulette Wahar, though, who is an alumni, is that right? Yes, I am. So, are you, were you a homecoming queen? Or is, are, um, no, no. No? Okay. All right. Well, anyway, I'm going to have her uh, read the proclamation. You've got okay. Yes, thank you. Thank you all for being here, and this is a real honor for me to, to read this proclamation. Uh, the Texas A&M University Corpus Christi Tamu CC campus, the Island University, has served for seven decades as the premier institution of higher learning in the Coastal Bend. The university offers its 12,000 plus students bachelor's, master's, doctoral degrees in its colleges of business, science, engineering, education and human development, nursing and health sciences, and liberal arts. The university will be celebrating its spirit, traditions, and ties to the community during its Islander Homecoming Week, February 23rd through February 29th of 2020. All Islander alumni, students, faculty, staff, and the Corpus Christi community are invited to come together and enjoy a week of festivities. In accordance, with the in accordance with the TAMU CC's Blues Day Tuesday tradition, the Island University invites the Corpus Christi community to share their Islander pride and wear blue on Tuesday, February the 25th, to celebrate Islander homecoming for 2020. Now therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as the mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim February the 25th, 2020, Citywide Blues Day Tuesday, honoring Texas A&M University Corpus Christi Homecoming in Corpus Christi, and encourage all citizens to acknowledge the supportive contributions made by Optimus International, the, the Optimus Club of Downtown Corpus Christi, and the Optimus Foundation of Corpus Christi in recognizing and applauding the youth of contributing they've made in our community. And testimony signed the 25th of February, Joe McComb. So I'll give this to you, Doctor. And if you'll say a kind word. Well, thank you very much. We want to thank the is it on? Yeah. We want to thank City Council for all your support always for the university and special thank you for wearing your Islander blue today. So um, we're very, very appreciative. So thank you very much. But we couldn't do the things we do without you. So we are very, very um, honored for this proclamation. I would also like to invite everyone. We've got lots of festivities, but this Saturday we have a double header, men's and women's basketball. It's going to be a great time between the two games. We also have a great block party, lots of things for children if they want to come. We do have a tailgate for the sponsored by the alum, Ed Cantu, is uh, helping us make that happen. And of course, Paulette and others that are our alums. Michael, we've got, we've got Rudy, is he here? Oh, lots of alums, Islander alums here. But um, it's a great opportunity to come out. And one of the exciting things is we do have a, uh, a performance that will happen during homecoming. And so if you happen to watch The Voice, uh, the winner of this season's The Voice, Jay Coot, will be our, uh, be our performer during uh, the homecoming block party. So come on out and join us. And, and we just thank you all for all your support of the Island University this week and every week. So thank you. Well, and they mentioned that. They mentioned they'd been seven decades, I think, the proclamation said. I went to a basketball game the other night. 
and a fellow walking out, he said, hello, Mayor. And I said, hello. And he said, he said, did you enjoy the game? I said, I did. And he said, well, he said, I've been coming to these. He said, I, I graduated from there in 1952 when it was back. I said, oh, the University of Corpus Christi. He said, yep, that's where it was. So you've got alumni still from oh, yes, the old University of Corpus Christi, but they've it. embraced the A&M Corpus Christi. We, yeah, we actually are having um, a reunion party. We're, we're having a reunion party before the game, and um, we're having two, actually. So one from an A&M Corpus Christi class, but also for the UCC, we're having a, a reunion party for the for the UCC, because we're the Island University. So if you attended school there, even when it was CCSU or UCC or a &I, you are an Islander forever, and so this is your homecoming as well. Good. Right. Let's gather up here and get a picture. <laughs> I didn't tell him which basketball game. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> It's fill the boot for the Muscular Dystrophy Association. So if you're with the Corpus Christi Fire Department, come on down. Y'all come on around. <laughs> All right. The Corpus Christi Fire Department serves and protects the community every day and other communities throughout America as needed. Members of the Corpus Christi Professional Firefighter Association, the Corpus Christi Firefighters, are hosting the annual Fill the Boot campaign on March the 6th, 13th, and 20th to benefit the Muscular Dystrophy Association. This is the 66th anniversary and the relationship between the Firefighter Association and MDA. By participating in this national event, many firefighter organizations in the United States of America are recognized each year as being the largest contributors to the Muscular Dystrophy Association. Now, therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as the mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim March the 6th, 13th, and 20th, fill the boot for Muscular Dystrophy Association Days in Corpus Christi and encourage all the citizens to recognize the firefighters' efforts and contributions made to the support of the Muscular Dystrophy Association. You guys and ladies do a great job, and you get a lot of support. And all the wiggling back there, let's see some wiggling where you're getting into your pockets back there, guys. When you stand up for a picture, Get something in your hand, because I'm sure Johnny. Where, where's your uniform? My wife's not here. She couldn't dress up. That's, about, that's probably an honest answer right there. All right, well, good. Well, come in here. Chief, you want to say something here on this? Thank you very much, Mayor. Um, uh, listen, uh, on behalf of the uh, fire department, I couldn't be more prouder of what uh, the firefighters do on a year to year basis. Uh, there's no. Um, single cause that's more important to the firefighters than the Muscular Dystrophy Association. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to President Johnny Staub, President of the Firefighters Association. Thank you, Chief. How's everybody doing? 
All right, that's good. Y'all don't sound very enthused. Um, <laughs> Mr. Zanoni, could I get you to come down to the well? All right. He's going to help us with the check. I just want to say one sh small thing, and then I'm going to turn it over to uh, the guy who run this uh, endeavor for the association, which is Carlos Torres and Tomas Cruz. Um, without the public's help, what we raise every year would not be possible. We really appreciate what you guys do for us when we're out on the streets. Um, please keep your eyes out because uh, our guys are on the streets collecting that money. And I want to thank uh, City Manager Zanoni for the, uh, the relationship that we have with the city and the department and being able to do this. So with that, Carlos Torres. Good morning or good afternoon almost. Uh, Carlos Torres, retired firefighter with the Corpus Christi Fire Department. A few facts and figures about MDA and the IFF, firefighters that fill the boot, and yourselves. You all are the ones that do it, make it possible. Annually, there's almost, oh, almost 2,000 fill the boots held across America that raise over $26 million a year. There's over 350,000 members of the IFF have contributed millions of dollars, as the mayor said, for 66 years now and remain the number one national sponsor of MDA. In fact, nationally, firefighters have contributed over $650 million to MDA since 1954. This originally started in Chicago, Illinois, okay? The Corpus Christi Fire Department and the Corpus Christi Professional Firefighters Association will conduct their annual fill the boot on March the 6th, it's a Friday, March the 13th, during spring break, Mayor, and the 20th at various locations throughout the city. And with the generous donations of visitors and residents of Corpus Christi and the entire coastal bend, we are hoping to raise over $100,000 like we did last year. But Corpus Christi, we have a surprise for you this year. You did really good last year. You set an all-time record. In fact, last year, we did raise over $100,000. We set a new record with your help, $120,000.43.43. That is an all-time record for Corpus Christi. Corpus Christi ranks nationally. We're usually in the top 25 cities out of 100 cities that are ranked in raising the, uh, the money for Fill the Boot. You all are, are ranked in the top 25. In fact, Corpus Christi usually comes out in the top five cities. No one south of San Antonio raises this amount, okay? March 2020 will again be a, another year where all previous records will be broken. Now you might ask, where does the money go that you put in the boot? Money raised will be used for the following projects. Uh, things like MDA clinics, equipment assistance programs, sending children to summer camp, and with that, I'll pitch it over to Tom Cruz, Tomas Cruz with MDA summer camp. All right, guys, so what we talk about is camp. Uh, camp is especially near and dear to my heart, so it takes roughly around $2,000 to actually send a kid to camp. Uh, camp Ranzizi over there in Rockport, it allows these kids to do whatever they want. They're able to swim, able to do uh, things a normal kid usually does. Uh, when they're at camp, they are not the kid in the wheelchair like they would be at school. They're just a kid amongst peers. Uh, to see those smiles, without a doubt, it, uh, it fills my heart. And uh, it's cool. We actually volunteer. A couple of us go for a week's time. Uh, if you have anybody, your family, anything like that, that needs community service, please tell them about this. It is a commitment. It's a whole week, and they do take away your phones. So that's usually the deal breaker. See, you're like, ooh, no, I'm not going. But nonetheless, just to see these kids and just to get them out of their element, get them away from mom and dad and actually let them live on their own, um, it's awesome. So thank you. Okay, and, uh, and wrapping it up, thank you, Mayor McComb. Thank you, all the council members, and especially City Manager Peter Zanoni for allowing us to do this in Corpus Christi along with the council and the mayor. Uh, we hope to see everyone out there. Thanks to all the citizens and visitors of Corpus Christi. So after we take our picture, the mayor is going to kick off the official kick the boot, kick, uh, fill the boot with our ceremonial boot there. All right. And uh, we take credit cards too, Mayor. We're going to swipe the card. <laughs> I, I laughed at you. No. <laughs> Well, thank you once again for having us here today, and uh, we're going to break another record. We're going to do over 120000 with your help. Thank you, Corpus Christi. All right. So you want to get the picture first, or you want to kick this off? Picture first, is it?
Yeah, I got Corona. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Hey, what's up, All right, this next one, uh, we'd like to come up, uh, Brain Injury Awareness Month. And if you're here for that, come on up. Councilman Garza is going to help me with this one. Thank you, Mayor. Good morning, uh, Brain Injury Awareness Month. An acquired brain injury is an injury to the brain that is not hereditary, congenial, degener degenerative, or induced by birth trauma. The injury results in a change in neuronal activity, which affects the physical integrity, metabolic activity, or functional activity of the brain. Just as no two individuals are alike, no two brains are alike. The cognitive, emotional, physical, behavioral, and perceptual changes after a brain injury may impact an individual ability to work, drive, read, write, manage their finances, take care of their children, live independently, or participate in community and social activities. Improvements may come as a result of hard work and rehabilitation. Recovery is dependent upon the nature of the injury or disease, the individual, family support, the availability of resources, and access to appropriate rehabilitation at the appropriate time and for the appropriate amount of time. I therefore, pursuant to the powers vested in me as the mayor of the city of Corpus Christi, I do hereby proclaim March 2020 Brain Injury Awareness Month in Corpus Christi so individuals with living with or impacted by a brain injury will become better informed and understand there are resources in our community, community to help them and their loved ones. Signed on the 25th of February. So who's gonna be the spokesman for this? And we appreciate you folks are the folks that help, I think, these people in their recoveries. And so we appreciate the work you do very much. Thank you, Mayor and uh, City Council for allowing us to come here. Appreciate the opportunity to highlight uh, the uh, issues surrounding the silent epidemic, which is brain injury. I want to acknowledge uh, this large group, this team, and there are many that could not be here that have worked very hard over the last year to secure an accreditation with the Joint Commission in Brain Injury. We're the first and only uh, hospital that have that in rehabilitation. It's a focus of ours, both nursing therapy as well as others. Um, so again, acknowledge those. Uh, Dr. Michael Fuentes, a special shout out as he provided a great amount of leadership to us. So thank you. Uh, we will have a social event tonight uh, from 6 to 8 at our facility on Esplanade. And I do extend an invitation to you, Mayor, City Council members, and uh, the public at large. If you would care to attend, we would love to have you there. Thank you very much, and I'll give you this proclamation so you can put that on your wall or wherever. Let's gather up and get a picture here with the council.
All right, at this time I'd like to uh, have Fernando Morel Iglesias uh, come up, going to be uh, sworn in to be on the Sister City Committee. Thank you for being here. Uh, you appreciate uh, your willingness to do this. And if you'll raise your right hand and uh, repeat after me, I'll say aye, and then you tell me your name, and then you'll repeat after me. We'll get you sworn in. I, I, Fernando Moral Iglesias, do solemnly swear, solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute, that I will faithfully execute the duties of a member, the duties of the member of the board to which I have been appointed. And upon which I am about to enter, and which upon I'm up to enter, and will, to the best of my ability, and best to my ability, preserve, protect, and defend, protect, defend, and preserve, preserve the Constitution and laws of the United States, the Constitution and laws of the United States, and of this state, and this state, and of this city. And this city. So help me God. Thank you very much, and we appreciate your willingness to serve on our sister city committee. Thank you so much. Good to see you. And she will. Oh, all right.